Hello, welcome. In this video, I will derive the bound on the probability of error in a Bayesian decision setting. So, let us define the probability of error. Uh, so, before, do I, before give, I give the definition, let us look at the illustration that shows the probability of the error or probability of mistake in a Bayesian decision. So, we have P of X comma C1 that is the joint density of the sample X and the class 1 and we also have class 2 that is P of X comma C2 and then we have the bound, the threshold X0. So, this is one of the, this is one of the parts of the uh, probability of I mean, this area basically represents one of the parts of the probability of error. And the second one is this one. So, the total area under this shared region is the total probability of error, which can be written as probability of error is equal to integral minus infinity to x naught probability of x comma c2 dx plus integral x naught to infinity probability of x comma c1 dx. So, this is the total probability of error or total probability of a doing of a mistake or a wrong decision basically. Our goal is now to prove that the this error the bound on, on this probability of error. So, this probability of error is actually always less than minus infinity to plus infinity probability of x comma c1 multiplied by probability of x comma c2 that is joint probability of x comma c2 under 1 by 2 I mean a power 1 by 2 dx. So, this is our goal to prove this theorem. So, before I uh, go into the proof of the theorem let us define a lemma 1 which is basically for Two positive for two non-negative values that is zero less than or equal to a less than or equal to b is basically implies that a is always less than or equal to square root of a b. You can easily see that for a equal to zero that is the one of the case of this condition we always have a equal to square root of a b since a is zero it uh, I mean basically square root of a b is also zero for a greater than zero less than or equal to b, uh, a is always positive and so is b. So, we can easily multiply with a on both sides. Then a square is always less than a b, which simply implies that since both are positive values, a is always less than square root of a b. Hence, this is, and uh, hence we have this lemma 1. That is for uh, two non-negative values one with a less than or equal to b, a is always less than or equal to the square root of the product. So, now using this lemma, we can prove the theorem. So, for the Bayesian classification in region 1, we have that is region 1, which is defined as x less than x naught. In the previous graph, we take the Bayesian decision as by using the condition that p of x comma c1 is always greater than p of x comma c2. Now, by using this lemma, we can easily say that p of x comma c2 is always less than square root of p of x comma c1 multiplied by p of x comma c2. Now, integrating on both sides in the region 1, we have minus infinity to plus x naught p of x comma c2 dx is always less than minus infinity to x naught in square root of the product. dx. And now for region 2, we have x is greater than x naught. And that in, and the decision is always p of x comma c2 is greater than or equal to p of x comma c1. And by using the lemma 1, we can easily say that p of x comma c1 
is always less than square root of p of x comma c1 multiplied by p of x comma c2. This is for region 2. And so now integrating on both sides in the region 2 that is from x0 to infinity p of x comma c1 dx is always less than x0 to infinity p of x comma c1 into p of x comma c2 on the square root dx. Now adding the two now adding the two inequalities minus infinity to x naught p of x comma c2 dx plus x naught to infinity p of x comma c1 dx is always less than minus infinity to plus infinity square root of the product p of x comma c1 p of x comma c2 dx. Hence, and this sum is actually equal to the probability of error or the total probability of doing a mistake. And this is always less than the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity square root of the product of these joint probabilities p of x comma c1 into p of x comma c2 dx. Hence, the area under this, I mean, I answer this shared area that is the probability of total error which is basically the sum of these two integrals is always less than this integral that is the square root of probability of x comma c1 the integral the total integral on under this function that is the square root of the product of joint probability densities thanks for watching